Hello guys, today I want to show you an eloquent thing with where has relationship and why it is quite dangerous in terms of performance and what to do better. We will compare two eloquent queries and measure their performance. So I have a demo project with two belongs to relationships. There's a transaction that belongs to a category and category belongs to a project. So kind of three level hierarchy. So in the database, I've seeded the transactions, 10,000 transactions, just random, with category ID. And every category has a project ID. And we want to query all the transactions that belong to a project, to the first level of hierarchy. So we query the transactions by project ID 1, for example, or whatever, it could be a variable. And typical scenario is we get the transaction, with where has of category and category is a relationship in transaction model we have a category belongs to so we use where has with a condition and a condition is where category project id equals one which is fine and we will take a look what query what sql query under the hood it performs and another way of doing that is to not use eloquent feature of where has but instead actually query the join perform the sql join and inner join would actually do the same thing is just this checks for existence and this joins the category if it exists so a transaction joins the category on the condition where category is project ID 1, which is almost the same thing. To avoid field duplication, we need to add select transactions. So in here, we select only transaction model. And in here as well, we select only transactions. If we don't do that, then it would also return the categories fields, which we don't actually need in this case. And let's try to measure those two queries. For that, I will use a tool called Laravel Ray by Spati. Here you see Ray queries. In your case, you may use Laravel debug bar, which is free, or other tools to debug your queries. But I'll just launch the page and see what happens. The page is empty, doesn't do anything, just launches those queries. And we launch that and see two queries reported by Laravel Ray. The first query, select from transactions where exists the category. And it took 30 milliseconds. Now compare that to the second query. We select transactions, which is the same thing, but then we do inner join instead of exists. Those deleted at is null is because I use soft deletes, but that doesn't really matter in this case. And look at the time, 0 0.69 milliseconds. And at first when I tried it, I thought maybe it's because this does some caching and the second query performs quicker just because something is cached. But let's try it out the other way around. Change the direction of the transactions query, change the order and refresh the page. Let's clear the Laravel array and refresh the page. So see the same result. The first query now takes 0 0.67 milliseconds and the second one still takes 32 milliseconds. So my overall advice to you is be careful when using where has because it scans the full table for exists of the record instead of actually doing it in the best performant way. If you want more tips like this one on this channel or on other topics, suggest the topics in the comments below and subscribe to the channel for daily videos. I'm publishing them daily now and support the channel financially by checking out one of the three products that you can see on the screen now from myself and my team, which is my courses, almost 20 courses now on Teachable, then Quick Admin Panel, Admin Panel Generator and LiveWire Kit set of components. And see you guys in other videos.